Okay, so now it's uh, time to get the blade prepared. And the first thing to do, obviously, is to uh, flatten and polish the back. Uh, here I've got a 1000 grit uh, diamond lapping stone. Um, this is good because uh, obviously it's flat. And um, you obviously want a flat surface. So all I do is um, gently uh, run the back of the blade over the stone and as soon as I can see some marks from the stone all along the blade and they're all nice and even uh, I know it's flat so I've got some work to do on the edge here on a good chisel you shouldn't need to do this uh, very much uh, on kind of cheaper chisels you'll kind of have to do this a lot and what will happen is you will bring down uh, Japanese chisels have this kind of hollow in the back which you probably already know about it's to help sharpening um, the the hollow should almost be the full width of the blade and there should be kind of a really thin piece of blade uh, kind of back left on either side and they should be thin and even and if you have a cheaper chisel uh, and you have to do a lot of this back lapping what will happen is you will basically wear out that those side uh, pieces here and you will get uh, what's known as a flat back uh, which is it, it, the chisel still works but it's not it's, it's kind of like taboo in traditional Japanese uh, tool world so don't do that. Um, this is already there now. Uh, I've got a nice even scratch pattern all the way down and I've got two nice uh, kind of flat areas on either side. So now I want to move on to kind of like the polishing stage and um, I use natural stones. Um, I have man-mades as well but I don't like them as much. But especially for Japanese tools, I find that the natural stones work a lot nicer. And I flattened these as well with the diamond plate uh, prior to using them here. And the same thing here, just give them a light going over. And uh, there we go, all the scratches from the diamond stone are taken out. So that's enough. This is a an Aoto. It's a kind of medium, medium stone. It's quite soft, which is not so good for tools, um, but it's a pretty standard uh, natural stone. So from that, <coughs> this is a, a sweeter of some sort. I can't remember where it's from, but uh, this is my kind of next step. And again, flattened. And you want to give this a very light going over and that looks good so that's done and finally this is a, this is a, a tomae from somewhere uh, this is my finishing stone this is usually as fine as I go this isn't ultra fine but uh, this is definitely good enough for most uh, work and that's it instantly natural stones they don't produce a kind of a mirror edge or mirror finish so you can see this or well, maybe you can't see but it's, it's kind of dull like hazed and I actually like that look it's it's kind of more refined I guess so now with the back done um, it's time to move on to the actual blade itself. Let's dry my chisel. And um, same thing. This, this comes pretty flat as it is and kind of slightly polished, but it's obviously not honed sharp. So I'll start again with this auto and um, I'll give it. You find your bevel and it's just standard sharpening. With the chisel this narrow, it's actually quite hard to hand. Home. 
Uh, just a bit more there. You can see I'm actually doing this sideways. Most people they do it kind of diagonally. You can do that too. And um, a bit more. Looking good. So that's done. And next up again, Sita. Notice I don't actually take the burr off yet. I'll take the burr off on the fine stone, the finishing stone. And this is the uh, finish. It's about done, and I'll just lightly take off the burr. And that should be ready for work. Let's try your tool off. And uh, that's pretty much the chisel kind of finished.